the most heartbreaking thing is when at the end of year 12 I get students coming to me and say oh I want to go and do this at university but I don't have the right A-levels what do I do and there's nothing that can be done apart from getting the right A-levels so your choice of A-levels is really really important now I know you made this decision months ago you filled in that form um, whether you're going to stay where you are at the main run, or whether you're going to move to a different school, move to a sixth form college, you filled that form in and you've got things confirmed or semi-confirmed already. It is not too late to change your mind. You can still change your choices for next year because it is really, really important. Now, on a GCSE results day, you're going to go in, you're going to see that set of results and you're going to know whether you've made it onto the A-level course or whether you've not made it onto the A-level course. Now, you will see on that bit of paper the grade boundaries as well. So if you need like a six to get onto the A-level course and you got a five and you were like one mark away and you've had the same chemistry teacher throughout the whole thing, thing number one is go and talk to your teachers. If you haven't got the grades to go on the course, go and talk to your teachers. If you've changed your mind about what you want to do, um, the thing that um, the most important thing you do is go and talk to your teachers. It is the teachers that will make the decision about who gets onto the course or not. You know, if if you've had a teacher you've had a really good relationship with and they know you've been going through some issues, they know that GCSEs were something happened, things were hard for you and you didn't get the grade that maybe you deserved, teachers can change things. Also, if you just change your mind and fancy doing something different, go and talk to your teachers. You can still change your mind about things. Now, I'm just going to put a gentle, soft plea out there for maths. Because when people come and talk to me at the end of year 12 to say, this is my dream university course, I've got everything, I've got everything, I desperately want to do this, but I don't have A-level maths, what do I do? The only thing that I can say is go and do A-level maths, either, you know, stay at six forms for another year, so like do year 14, or do A-level maths in a year, and that is hard, so... If you have an idea of what you want to do at university, go and look at what the A-level requirements for that are and then think, can I, with my A-level choices, get onto that university course? If you're not sure about what university course you want to do, then things that used to be called facilitating subjects, so kind of like you know, traditional subjects like math, science, English, history, those are good ones to do because they give you lots and lots of options. You know, physics is a really good one, just just gently throwing the science at you because you know it gives you lots and lots of transferable skills to other things. So like project work, interpretation, graphs. Um, that's why people with physics degrees are really so sought after at, at not but not actually working as physicists. So you still have time to change your mind. It is not too late. Please, please, please. Think about it and don't just do what um, you put the form in to do just because that's what you think you should do. Ouch! This is why in some videos I like explain scratches.